Hello guys, my name is Sheikh Chan Basha. Today's section is 11th cast and I will provide basic examples for this cast. And uh, let me introduce about myself first. Uh, my name is Sheikh Chan Basha. You can simply call me Chanu. I am the founder of CMA, ICMA group in FB. Uh, if you want to make a friendship with me in Facebook, please search with the keyword Chanu SK and uh, you can also give a friend request. I'll definitely accept your friend request once I receive it. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. Okay, let me introduce what is relevant cost now. I already explained in my previous lesson. You can check with the number 9, lesson number 9, where you can find out so what is relevant cost and relevant cost. But uh, for your understanding, I am again telling you uh, what is relevant cost? Relevant cost is nothing but uh, relevant cost is a management accounting toolkit uh, that helps managers to take a decision. So, so there are five types of uh, uh, questions we need to raise uh, when we are taking these decisions. Okay, the first question should be make or buy decisions. For example, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to buy a component, uh, so what you have to do? You will buy from external vendor, or you need to make it from your in-house so this that is uh, two option here so you need to choose which option is better one it depends upon the completely revenue generated by the uh, it is uh, profit and cost so these two factors are important to take uh, uh, these decisions and the second one is whether to accept a special order and third one is uh, what price what price to charge on special order and fourth one is whether to discontinue a product line and how to utilize the scale resources optimally so these five factors we need to consider while taking uh, relevant cost uh, are I mean managerial decisions so these are extremely important in decision making and uh, relevant cost is also called differential cost is a management accounting term describing cost that uh, pertain to particular decision relevant cost will vary based on the context of the decision such as uh, business analysis by multi multi-platform retailer so what types what types of relevant cost are there and uh, how we can classify it just have a look at uh, relevant cost can be classified into two parts one is future cost and opportunity cost okay what is future cost it is incurred in future based uh, based on the potential decision made this should be vary from decision option to decision option if it does not uh, change based on the decision then it is uh, irrelevant cost and what is opportunity cost the cost is lost opportunity depending on the decision mode uh, so in my next lesson i will tell you what is opportunity cost in very detail uh, now the topic is relevant cost so you just understand that uh, uh, there are two types of cost are there one is future cost and opportunity cost it will comes under the relevant cost and uh, I'll tell you what is relevant cost and I explained in the previous letter previous lesson you can also check it the lecture number nine irrelevant cost or those should not be considered for decision making and uh, irrelevant cost can be classified as sunk cost and committed cost and also provided some basic examples you can look at here are the basic examples and uh, what are the relevant costs that uh, online merchandise should think about uh, here I have provided some examples uh, for relevant cost and uh, just have a look on that uh, part once uh, executive management at company decided that uh, they want to develop a mobile application for Android based mobile devices. They are presented with two options by the technical team. A web application wrapper to look like a mobile application or mobile application written for Android. Each decision has several relevant costs. So okay, just look at what is the relevant cost are here and uh, relevant cost uh, has classified into future cost and opportunity cost so just look at uh, what are the future cost and opportunity cost here so the development team uh, so here development development team should be future cost so how much time will will it take to develop each option that we need to consider while taking the decision and the second one is uh, developer resources how many people